What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Project Smart and finally, the biggest thing I've been waiting for almost three months, it is finally here. We have the Xiaomi Mija 4K projector. I know I haven't posted in a while because we've been crazy busy. Permits finally approved, went right to work. Construction has begun. Right now we're looking at framing phase. As you can see right behind me, this house is now coming to a vision that me and my wife have been dying and waiting for. My brother Joe, DGJ, contracting is killing it. But we're not focused on that, that's another video. Today we're focusing on the long anticipated thing that I've waited almost three months for, and that is the ultra short throw projector going in our den entertainment. That's the biggest secret that I had in the other past video. Other thing is, we're doing it 120 inch screen is going on that wall. Like I said, right now it's a big mess. You saw my first video. I did mention something about something big going on here. I wasn't joking, I meant it literally. We're putting a 120 inch screen on that wall. Screen possibly gonna be supplied by XY Screens. I couldn't order the screen yet until I got the projector. It is finally here in my hands. Waited three months for this thing and I'll explain why I waited three months. So now real quick, long story short, I first purchased the projector off of Banggood. Banggood had a coupon. Um, I'm not really gonna say how much I paid for it because I don't want really anybody to know about it. It's not that crazy, but let's just say compared to a 75 inch QLED TV from Samsung, I'm basically almost paying the same price as that, but we're gonna hit 120 inches on this. So real quick, long story short, ordered from Banggood uh, August. August, Banggood sent it out. I got the tracking information. All of a sudden, maybe about a week while in Singapore, uh, it just got stuck. August 15th, it was stuck in like the, the processing area in Singapore. September 15th hit, and then like September 23rd was like, I, I had to call up Banggood, which is the worst website. Don't get your shit from Banggood. It is literally the worst. They have robots as like the people on the chat. It is god awful. I have like all my conversations saved. Luckily, um, PayPal was able to help me dispute it. That took literally about a month and a half. So the projector was supposed to be here. I ordered it, I think at the end of July. I ordered it at the end of July when I posted the video originally. And then, um, you know, it's literally stuck in Singapore for God knows how long. And I just said, you know what, I'm fed up. It's literally stuck. One of the guys at Banggood said, go to the USPS, United States Postal Service um, Center in New York. It might be there. And it's like that they said that they saw in tracking that it's there and it's being held there. And that if I don't go there within two days, they're gonna send the projector back. And I was like, this doesn't sound right. Your, project, your, your tracking doesn't show that it's in the US, it's still in Singapore. Sure enough, I go to USPS. They said, look, you, if it's going over a month, you waited too long, that is gone, it disappeared. The salesperson literally said, the projector disappeared off the face of the earth. So after so much disputing, so much disputing, got my money back. Once I got my money back in my account, I went right to eBay, because I've been talking to some guy from eBay, and literally I would say about a week, it, it was shipped. So that is it, don't deal with Banggood, it's the fucking worst website, don't even bother with it. But now let's get to it real quick. I'm not gonna unbox this, you'll see a bunch of unboxing videos for this thing, but this is the 4K model, I'll put the model description in it. Biggest thing is that it's finally here and I can't wait to at least test it on this wall. So now real quick, on eBay it said US. I purchased the US one, I opened this before just to see it, but they did ship me I don't know what that is, Japan, China, whatever it is, they shipped me this plug with much research. It does have a Mickey Mouse head to it. And my only big fear is that they do say that you might need a converter box, but reviews and other people said you don't need it. So luckily from an old, I was literally searching for it before, there it is. From an old laptop charger, I do have a Mickey Mouse plug US version. So we are not gonna be using this and I thought I had it converted to it, which was shipped from the Banggood website. That's another thing. Banggood also sent me a 
free media player, which I got. I got the media player, it was a cool me, it's a very tiny box, 4K apparently, but I never got the projector. So when I got that, where the hell is it? What the hell? Oh, it's there. They shit me again that, and they gave me one of these like transformer plugs, but apparently this, oh shit, it does fit. Oh, it fits, lit. Okay, this does fit. So actually, I am not gonna plug in the US plug just yet. I am going to keep it all traditional. We are gonna plug in this adapter piece first to make sure the projector freaking works. So let's first check that out. Again, I'm just opening it. I opened it at the job site when I got it. And I just wanted to validate that it is officially here. It is officially in my hands. And I just can't wait to put it on there because I need to measure as I'm praying that a 120 inch screen will work apparently from like the thing I bought and the dimensions that XY screen purchased. Also the manual, the English manual to the Xiaomi projector says that it has to be 16 inches off the wall to hit 120 inches. So we are gonna test that now. I'm done talking. I'm turning the camera off and we're gonna put it over there. Now, as I unbox this real quick, other you know videos that you see on it, there is a very nice like protective kind of plastic to it. This is not staying in this house. It is coming home with me. As right now, there's a lot of dust. Not in this room right now, but we are doing construction. I don't want any dust. Also, I don't know if, I don't know if you guys see me on Instagram, but we do have a full 5.1.2 surround sound. That's another video to come. And unfortunately, I can't put the wall units in yet until I get the screen because we got to measure it all out. So there's a lot of steps to it. That's why I really can't wait to open this up because I do have to get the tape measure and make sure that my plan is going to fall into place. So again, really cool stuff. You do get a very nice kind of protective coating, which I'm not trying to rip off as I'm going to put it back. But so far loving it. Meaning I like the design of it. Nice slick black to it. I just can't wait to put it on the wall. Finally got it plugged in. And there we have it. It's 120 inches right there. I measured it. We are missing the screen as that is the next purchase. But even with lighting on, I mean, that one's directly at it. You can still see it. We have the volume low. We got the projector. Audio coming from the projector right now. Pretty nice, but we are putting an, a receiver to this, so I don't really care about the audio coming out of this. Pretty loud. Again, ultra short throw. And again, this is 120 inches. Lights on, again, these are LED hi-hats. Again, they're not set. So this kind of view doesn't really count too much. Again, we don't have the screen on it, but I'm pretty sure that when we put the screen, it's gonna look way different. Alexa, turn off the den lights. Okay. That's lights off movie mode. Uh, it is not perfectly centered. It does have to go to the right. Again, this is just testing right now. But I've been playing with it for about the last 30, 40 minutes. Pretty simple. Boots up really fast. Um, I was trying to watch a basketball game, but apparently my Verizon account doesn't have like the NBA uh, network or whatever. So I really don't care. But right now we're running Netflix. This is using the Cool Me Box. I am brought, well, I'm streaming right now from the Cool Me Box, so I do have my little kind of setup here. I was watching a little bit of a Twitch stream. Uh, I just posted a bunch of videos on Instagram. But there's my Cool Me kind of box setup. Uh, again, while I was watching Netflix, was watching YouTube, I was running like um, some trailers. Uh, luckily with this keyboard, I could bring this back up. Just again, watching like, some movie trailers. Now the big one downside right now is that this Cool Me streaming box advertised 4K and it does not play 4K as YouTube does not notice the 4K. So right now Lion King, again, we don't have a screen on this. I mean, in person, this thing is pretty unreal. I love it. Uh, I'll be honest, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I just hope, you know, it does stay alive. 
but this is this is what I wanted. 120 inch screen. I'm gonna bring it back. I mean, I'm right now at the sliding door. This is exactly what I wanted. 120 inches. Again, I am literally so far away. It is perfect. Again, I don't know. They're telling me that the projector does upscaling of 4K, so it is taking a 1080p image. Um, I unfortunately, the only thing I have on this is this cool me thing. I am looking to buy the Amazon Fire Box, as that shows Dolby Vision 4K. Uh, but right now, again, just to show you, it is really cool. Alexa, set den lights to 100%. So real quick, I'm gonna mute this. A lot of the big things people keep asking is if you do need a converter box, you do not. This is going directly, I do have my, that white plug I showed you, it's going directly into the projector. This right now is 16 inches off the wall. Um, so you do need that. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of a piece to this kind of table, as this right now is too far from the wall. So that's the only one thing that I do have to keep in mind. 16 inches to get 120 inches. That's what the manual reads. Let's skip this ad. Like I said, just right now playing with YouTube uh, and just checking it out. This is an Ikea stand. So just to give you an idea on that. I don't know the dimensions on this, but it's pretty big. Receiver is going to go there. You can real quick take a look at all the Klipsch receivers. We got the subwoofer. I got a bunch of those. We do have already two rear speakers. I already ran those. So again, 5.1.2. This will be Dolby Atmos. We are going above onto the ceiling. Dolby Atmos theater in this house. Now real quick, like if let's just say we want to switch to like... um regular TV we'll put the volume on then the Xiaomi there we go we put on a machine that'll pump air into my lungs I know it's 10 o'clock so I guess we watch the news similar attack I mean HD to me I do want to watch a basketball game to make sure there's no ghosting uh, but right now there is no sport games on at all Santos remains under psychiatric watch at Bellevue I mean, again, just to kind of show you, it was 10 o'clock, there is no real games right now, but unfortunately, like I was trying to watch WWE Raw, and I apparently do not have the subscription, the subscription to this. I do notice one thing, I can't tell if it's the projectile, but watch this. Basically, right now we have this black screen, and there it is. You hear that loud noise? I only notice it when it's like this, so I can't tell if it's the cable box. If I do go back, it stops. So I don't think it's a speaker issue. I think it's just maybe Verizon. I don't know. I can't tell. But anytime it's like that screen where it says basically I need a subscription, I I, I have to wait for it. I want to watch MTV. I mean, again, basic TV. This menu right here is not going to be used. We did put English to this. So you do have a couple of uh, English settings to it. But again, for me, I am not planning to use that menu at all. I got to figure out, I don't know what HDMI they have this set to. Oh, there's the one I want. Uh, I was watching like a Dolby Atmos kind of promo from YouTube. Let me put the camera down, this way it looks better. Alexa, turn off the dead lights. Okay. Right now we're running like an, uh, just a regular 4K kind of uh, video content. If I, again, I'm using YouTube on this, so it is 1080p. I know that for sure because when I go into it, for example, like we'll do the Dolby Atmos kind of setup. Actually, I want to do the third one. Let's see this one. This one looks pretty cool. So when I go into the settings here, just like regular YouTube, if you press the dots, 
And then as you can see the quality, this right now is 720p, we're gonna move to 1080p. It does not go up to 4K, but again, I believe that is the video, meaning the cool me box, the media player. Just again, kind of just to show you this. Pretty cool. I'm not worried about the sound on this because we are putting a receiver to it. But just to kind of give you an idea, I didn't really want to put the camera on the table because I know the boxes are in the way. But just to give you an idea on how big this is, I'm looking at the video reflection. I mean, that's pretty much how big this is. <laughs> Again, 120 inch screen. I am now going to be able to place my order with the XY screen. Uh, we are doing the ALR crystal screen on this. So again, just to show you what that looks like. It's pretty ridiculous. The Peloton tread is not another tread. I'm gonna pick you guys up. Again, I have this box in the way. That's why I kind of feel bad for putting it on the floor. But, so far, I don't want to jinx it. It is. It seems to be pretty awesome. I just turned on my um, foyer lights. So, you know, now we do have a little bit of kind of a light coming in. But I also have like a thing right against it. So it's not too bad. It's not that much of a, of a deal breaker. But again, in my hand now, I focus it as much as I can. Again, this is not 4K. I, I, the only way I could try to get 4K is if I bring like a PlayStation, which I will try in another video because a lot of people want to see the motion to it. But again, it's pretty cool. I'm very amazed, very surprised by it. I think it looks great. Not to mention it's so unique. It's, it's on the floor. It is not in the ceiling. It's just insane. You can literally look at the reflection on the sliding door. That's another reason why I wanted this because if we do the summertime, you could be there on the patio and you could still watch the TV. That is the main reason why we did this. Again, 120 inch screen. We do have three speakers. So there will be one there. There will be another one on that side and we're going dead center here. So my biggest thing right now is to make sure I could fit 120 inches. And as you can see, I kind of sized it up. It's gonna go right up to the peak where the, where the roof, the ceiling hits. I mean, again, unreal stuff stay tuned for more videos because again right now it's not really set and you can kind of see like my wall we do have like a not even plastic wall but again we are putting a screen so i really don't care about that at all this again is unbelievable totally worth the wait now one thing real quick a couple of questions boot up time Projector fully off, been off for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna now officially reboot at three, two, one, go. You can hear the fans turning on. You do have a little bit of a light going on. Just posted it on Instagram. I think it took maybe 20 seconds. Kinda of got your loading thing. I'm gonna hope that I could kind of fix this where it kind of just goes into HDMI 1 but once you pick HDMI 1 you are in this is a YouTube skip ad thing and you are basically now watching again count it figure at least 20 seconds from off to boot 